It takes a special person to be able to give your all to your job, to your colleagues, but also to your family. It's not easy, you know, and uh, she does it uh, in, a, in a marvelous way. You know, I grew up in a very small rural community, uh, Portland, Michigan, uh, size of about 5,000 uh, people, very close to my sister who was one year older and my two younger brothers. My choice of moving into engineering was one that was pretty pragmatic. I was good at math and science, and so I took a leap of faith and, and went into engineering. And I would say once I started as an intern, and I worked at General Motors as an intern, I found that uh, engineering was a perfect role for me. So it really uh, was meant to be, I think. Denise and I first met in 1999 when I uh, joined General Motors as plant manager of the Cadillac plant in Detroit, Michigan. She's so easy to get to know, but you can tell that she wants to succeed and she works so hard at it. Um, and I, I think that those are the things that make her what she is today. It's been 15 years since I graduated from the Leaders for Global Operations program at MIT. Since then, I've been applying what I've learned in the program to lead global operations at General Motors and Caterpillar. Back in the uh, economic recession of 2007-8, I believe it was, Denise was the uh, plant manager of the Oshawa truck plant outside of Toronto, and unfortunately, hers was one of the plants that we had to shutter. So seeing this, um, Denise reasoned, well, if we can have a plan for every part, why can't we have a plan for every member of management? And she and her HR team, as well as hiring some people from the outside, came in and taught all the salary people resume writing, um, how to uh, interview, they did mock interviews, uh, they did a job fair. I was amazed at, uh, at what she did and the enthusiasm that it brought to the plant. I've always found that you can build trust by being open, honest, and talk about your feelings and what you're thinking. And you can build a relationship much faster uh, under those kinds of circumstances. And so that open, transparent uh, you know, relationship that I like to have with uh, everyone that I work with is something that I've really taken to every role that I've had. I met Denise uh, when she came to interview for a position at CAT. I mean, the resume spoke for itself. Uh, work experience was outstanding. Uh, she was wicked smart. But beyond that, I, there was just a sense that, of connection that she would be a great part of the team. In fact, I think it was about halfway through the interview, I switched from interview to sales. And, you know, how do I convince her to come to CAT? So, I've known Denise from the day she walked through the Caterpillar door. She's very partnership orientated. She doesn't operate just from an office. She gets out into the mind. She's got a great deal of empathy and she's got a, a great uh, amount of desire to make sure that mining changes for the better. And you look at the work that she's been doing, whether it's through automation, whether it's about electrification, whether it's about improving safety, you know, that's all pretty transformational work. And Denise has been at the forefront of that. Denise has had a tremendous impact on the mining industry, and I'd break it into a number of categories. I mean, first of all, in the area of product, in a world that is embracing electrification, I think you're seeing the advancements coming in the cat mining portfolio. I mean, the electric drive truck, as an example, demonstrates she's bringing great products to the industry. Beyond that, you know, our job is to solve customer problems and the advancements in autonomy and solving a real world problem of labor availability that isn't going to go away is a great benefit to the industry. Lastly, it's the advancement of women in leadership. You know, mining's historically been a male-dominated industry, and even though Denise has succeeded, she sees it as her responsibility to provide a hand up for those that are coming behind us. Denise is in a role that uh, interacts across the mining industry, from the smallest companies to some of the very largest companies. And what I have observed in Denise now over a number of years is someone who is incredibly effective at building relationships. Someone who approaches 
every relationship with respect, with humility, and looks to seek to understand and engage, to understand you as a person first and foremost. And as you can imagine in the mining industry, we have a few prickly customers. Um, and I have seen Denise uh, unflappable, uh, that she is able to garner respect no matter who it is that's sitting across the table from her, and that is a very special skill. You know, it must have been difficult. You know that it's not easy to reach where she has with that amount of ease. And to have that kind of humility, to have that kind of warmth, to have that kind of caring for people around her. So mentoring is really important to me because I have experienced firsthand the value of having a mentor or a sponsor in my life. And it has created uh, the ability for me to really learn and grow through others. And so as I looked at the opportunity to give back in the same way, I found that it was so rewarding to, to be able to provide someone some advice and then watch them use that advice to get better and to improve is something that uh, is more rewarding to the person who's uh, you know, mentoring them than it is actually to the person who's experiencing the change in themselves. Hi everyone, my name is Noela Kosaris Mosunka. I'm the CEO and founder of the grassroots organization Malaika, a foundation that I set up 15 years ago. Me and Denise, we met at the headquarters of Caterpillar. They were organizing a forum. She's a very loyal person. And when she cares, she really cares. And uh, we talk a lot about Africa, Congo. And she told me, I will come to Malaika. And I was like, you know what, the agenda is so busy. She not only came to Malaika, we created a project together and she came back again. So that's really, really touched my heart. You know, Dennis has mastered the art of putting at ease anybody she's interacting with. I have seen her talking to people, dealing with them as equals, irrespective of where they come from, what is their status, what is their designation. And I think that is a great quality to have in a leader. There's nothing she won't take on. I mean, if she wants to get it done, she gets it done. And, uh, and she has no fear. And uh, she just has trust in her ability. Yes, she's a, she's a leader, she, yes, she's a woman, but you cannot just be a leader and being successful. You need to have a lot of passion, compassion, you have to be fierce, you need to make the right decision. The world is changing and evolving, and she's constantly adapting herself. That's what, that's what makes Denise very unique. I'm greatly honored uh, to be uh, inducted in the Hall of Fame. And I will say that while I'm the first woman, I know that I won't be the last. Uh, you know, the mining industry is changing very quickly in understanding the value of diversity and inclusion in driving results, business results, and really making improvements. So I see the mining industry changing uh, quickly and, and really embracing the idea of more diversity. Yes, Denise is my mother-in-law and uh, she's been my mother-in-law for eight years. <laughs> she's been a great mother-in-law too, I must add, she's been great. She has a talent and a skill to make you feel like when you're in a conversation with her, nothing else matters. Uh, that's how attentive she is. That's how focused she is on what the conversation is. And she makes you feel special. And she does that with everyone. I've seen her in action. And uh, not everybody has the skill to listen, but also make someone feel like they're the most important person in that room. And this is the most important conversation I'm having and she's genuine with that. You know, the thing I'm most proud of is my family. I mean, my daughters are amazing, my grandchildren. I mean, the legacy that you leave through your family is, to me, the most important. And while I'm very proud of the things that I've accomplished in my career, they pale in comparison to how proud I am of my family. Denise, I want you to take this all in. I know you're probably embarrassed and uncomfortable right now with all this attention that you're getting, but there's a reason that you are here. You're an inspiration to all of us. Your family loves you. Your colleagues love you. This is your night. Congratulations. We love you.